Hello everyone, my name is Tia Shajana. I have completed my B.Sc. from Raja Enel Khan Women's College in Minnapur in West Bengal. I got a chance in IIT Jammu, IIST Shippur and RKM VERI Belur. But I have decided to take an admission in RKM VERI Belur for my MSc. So uh, in this video, I am going to share my interview experience in RKM VERI Belur. It was held um, in physical mode in Belur main campus. There were seven professors in this panel. At first, they asked my full name and if my final semester um, is completed or not. Then they asked my favorite topics. I told statistical mechanics and quantum mechanics. Then they started with statistical mechanics. So the first question was, what is the relation between CP minus CV? So that is CP minus CV equal to R, where R is the universal gas constant. Then they asked me, which statistics um, is followed by the metal. So as the uh, carrier of the metal um, is electron, um, the uh, metal follows Fermi Dirac statistics. Then they asked me uh, how specific heat um, vary with temperature T um, in Einstein and device theory. In Einstein theory, uh, specific heat at low temperature decays at uh, exponentially and at high temperature it is constant that is 3R. And at uh, according to DY theory, specific heat is proportional to the uh, third power of T at low temperature and it is constant at high temperature that is 3R. The next question was, what is the basic difference between Einstein theory and DY theory? So according to Einstein theory, all the atoms in the crystalline solid vibrate in same frequency. And according to DY, all the atoms doesn't vibrate with the same frequency. Um, so um, because of interatomic forces, so one should consider the um, vibration of entire crystal then the question uh, was asked to me uh, from mathematical physics that is suppose c equal to commutation of a b where a b and c are square matrices then what is the trace of c As C equal to commutation of A B, equal to A B minus B A, then trace of C equal to trace of A B and minus trace of B A. As we know that trace of A B equal to trace of B A. So the trace of C equal to 0. Then they ask to show me that trace of AB equal to trace of BA. Where A and B are both are um, square matrices. Suppose A equal to a n by n order matrix. 
B is also a n by n order matrix. Let us consider C equal to A B and D equal to B A. Now the ith term of C matrix can be written as Similarly, now trace of C is Then interchanging the symbols of K and I, we can get trace of T equal to Then they asked another one question from statistical mechanics that is uh, universal gas constant R is the uh, truly constant or not? Is it uh, vary, uh, varying with uh, temperature or not? But I as I don't know the answer then I uh, told uh, directly that I uh, cannot tell this. The next question was asked to me from electrostatics. Uh, they asked that in electrostatics, what is the equation of 
curl of E and what is the physical significance and uh, what can I uh, what can we conclude from it so in electrostatics curl of E equal to 0 and we can conclude from it that E equal to minus grad phi where phi is a scalar potential and uh, its uh, physical significance is that uh, the work done is 0 at curl of E equal to 0 um, while a charge is moving in a closed loop in, uh, in a electric field. So then they asked me that uh, if there is a, a time varying magnetic field then what is the equation. So if there is a time varying magnetic field then curl of E equal to minus del V del T then they asked what is um, how uh, does B can uh, how can the B uh, represent as the potential so B equal to curl of A where A is a vector potential then they asked what is the value of divergence of B in elect electrodynamics. So divergence of B equal to 0 in electrodynamics. Then they uh, asked, to asked uh, how to represent electric field in terms of the two potentials. So that is we know that. curl of E equal to minus del V del T From this equation we can say that P plus del A del T is equal to minus grad phi that is E equal to minus grad phi minus del A del T. phi is a scalar potential and a is a vector potential so it was the last question in this interview session uh, and uh, that's how uh, the interview um, came to end uh, so thank you so much all